This is an amide. It has a carbonyl group bonded to a nitrogen. Amide bonds are also called peptide bonds because they link amino acids into long polypeptide chains. Amide bonds can be hydrolyzed into a carboxylic acid and an amine. Both acid and base catalysts can hydrolyze amides, and both mechanisms will be discussed in this video. Let's start with the acid catalyzed reaction. Here we have our amide. First, a lone pair of the carbonyl oxygen takes a proton from our acid catalyst. This leaves a positive charge on the oxygen. Oxygen is already more electronegative than the carbon it is double bonded to, and this, combined with a new positive charge, means that oxygen strongly pulls electron density away from the carbonyl carbon. As a result, the carbonyl carbon is open to nucleophilic attack by water. Following nucleophilic attack, the attacking oxygen has a positive charge, so it loses a proton. Next, the lone pair on the amide's nitrogen picks up a proton and becomes a good leaving group. Now, the lone pair on one of the hydroxyl groups comes down, kicking off the amino group and breaking the amide bond. Finally, a favorable acid-base reaction occurs between the two resulting pieces of the molecule, leaving a carboxylic acid group on one piece and a quaternary ammonium cation on the other. Notice that all the steps in this reaction are reversible. In fact, the same mechanism in reverse can be used to form amides. The base catalyzed mechanism of amide hydrolysis is fairly similar. I'll go over it briefly. The reaction initiates with a nucleophilic attack of a hydroxide ion at the carbonyl carbon, pushing electrons up to form a negative charge on the oxygen. When these electrons come back down to reform a double bond, the nitrogen is expelled. This expelled nitrogen takes a proton from the resulting carboxylic acid in a favorable acid-base reaction. Finally, the carboxylate can be protonated with acid to reform the carboxylic acid.